Parts of western Connecticut, Connecticut again picking up 5 to 12 inches of rain, some even uh, locally higher amounts. Going into this past weekend, the 24-hour record rainfall for uh, the state of Connecticut, 12.77 inches back from 1955. Uh, that was, uh, again, uh, 69 years ago. And so far, Newtown coming at 12.17, so six-tenths of an inch away from the 24-hour record for the state. But there are other sites that have reported even higher amounts, but the Weather Service needs to go and investigate the accuracy of those. That will take a little bit some, of some time. So we'll keep you updated on where the, uh, the climatological dust settles. But in the meantime, uh, this recent system, the rounds of rain certainly have come to an end. First alert live radar, more or less scanning dry outside, maybe a sprinkle. And our view from Waterbury at one point, you can see overcast now, but kind of backlit here uh, with the moon. The full sturgeon moon, also a blue super moon happening tonight. So uh, you can see from our view in New London, primarily overcast, and the rain from earlier uh, certainly has moved out, the pavement beginning to dry out a bit. Along the shoreline, still close to 70. Here in the uh, midnight hour, inland, we're in the upper, mid and upper 60s. As cool, though, as 62 Salisbury and also in Torrington. Dew point values at one point earlier in our Monday, up in the 70 to 75 degree range. So uh, drier air continues to move in on a northwesterly breeze. Those winds not terribly strong. It's that wind direction that is key uh, with those winds right now around 5 to 10, 10 to 15 miles an hour. Again, all in association with this front that continues to move offshore, taking with it all of the high humidity. So that drier air. Look at uh, Buffalo, New York, for instance, dew point values in the upper 40s. That's what we'll get to experience by tomorrow, by later today, Tuesday afternoon. High High pressure building in will also lead to a clearing trend. So lingering cloud cover tomorrow morning will give way to a brighter sky. Temperatures overnight bottom out in the upper 50s and low 60s inland between 60 and 65 along the shoreline. As you start the day for our Tuesday stepping out the door, you're going to notice a change compared to Monday morning. And during the afternoon as our sky becomes mostly sunny, temperatures top out between 70 and 75 degrees. So running below average by nearly 10 degrees. And Wednesday could be even cooler. Uh, we're going to be tracking a little disturbance aloft, colder air, the daytime he heating on Wednesday afternoon, leading to the development of clouds, perhaps some spotty showers. Greatest concentration will be to our north, but some of those could work here into southern New England across northern parts of our state. Uh, otherwise, uh, Wednesday night, early Thursday, looking for temperatures to drop into the 50 to 55 degree range statewide, and some mid and upper 40s will be possible. So we can certainly give the air conditioning a break. Uh, save on our energy cooling costs. Uh, an isolated shower again Wednesday. Upper 60s, low 70s, our coolest day of the next seven. Back in the mid 70s, Thursday, closer to 80 on Friday, going even milder, seasonably so over the upcoming weekend. Saturday, partly to mostly sunny, going optimistically dry with sun and clouds Sunday and Monday of next week.